Hello again, I am Blunty. It is 100 days till Dragon Con, give or take a day, because the international dateline's kind of screwing up my calculations here at the moment, because I'm here in Australia and Dragon Con's in the US. But the point of it is, I'm going to Dragon Con this year. I've already bought my tickets, I've already booked my hotel, I've already booked a plane to get there and back again. I'm going to Dragon Con. If you don't know what Dragon Con is, and Lord knows why don't you know what Dragon Con is. If you're watching me, if you're subscribed to me, chances are you've got, you know, at least a, a flavor of geek to you. And if you don't know what Dragon Con is and you're that type of person, you should be ashamed. If you found this video through searching and you're watching it because it says 100 days till Dragon Con up there in the title of the video, or if you found it on my website through a Google search or whatever, but it says 100 days till Dragon Con, it's obviously about Dragon Con. If you're searching for this video, you're probably searching for Dragon Con or something to do with conventions and comic books and movies and pop culture and all that kind of stuff, which is what Dragon Con is. I'll read from the website here what they say it is. Dragon Con is the largest multimedia popular culture convention focusing on science fiction and fantasy, gaming, comics, literature, art, music, and film in the universe. I'm not exactly sure how they can make the claim to be the biggest in the universe, seeing as we only know very little about the rest of the universe. We haven't surveyed it all. They, they're making that claim blindly, frankly. But it's definitely the biggest here on planet Earth. Well, you know, maybe one of the Japanese ones are bigger, but who cares? It's huge. I've done... Comic-Con before, which is also huge, and I've been to the US three times before, which is also, yeah, it's kind of big, uh, but I've been to California three times, different bits of California three times, and this time, because I'm going to Dragon Con, I'm going to the lost city of Atlanta, and oh, my backlight just, just blinked out on me there, so I've got no, I've got no rim light on my hair anymore, it's all, so I hate that about that light, that one's battery powered, and when the battery goes far, it doesn't go, it just goes, and if I'm in the middle of the video and I haven't remembered to charge it, then everything changes and it looks weird in the... I don't know. What was I saying? The Lost City of Atlanta. I'm going to Georgia in the US of A for the first time for Dragon Con. And I'm excited about it. And I've got just two questions for you. Number one, are you going? Are you planning? To... Actually, no, wait. I've got three questions for you. Are you going? Are you planning to go? Will you keep an eye out for me? Will come say hi, wave, get a picture, talk on camera or something? I don't know. Be nice to meet some viewers. I don't often get to meet people from, you know, Georgia. Um, two, if you've been to Georgia, live in Georgia, live in and around Georgia, specifically Atlanta, the lost city of Atlanta. What's worth doing there? Because I've got about three quarters of a day free um, to go do something. I'm thinking about visiting the Coca-Cola factory. The aquarium's supposed to be kind of nice as well. I'm sort of starting to build a list of things I might just pop in on and check out. And... Uh, the final question is, what if I go in costume, what costume should I be wearing? What, what costume do you think that I could pull off? So I'm, thinking, I'm, I'm asking you for suggestions, which I hardly ever do because your opinion means almost nothing to me. But, you know, it's online video and you have to interact with your audience and pretend you're interested in what they say. No, I'm being facetious here. I actually am really interested in what you guys... What do you think I would be good at? Keep in mind, you know, that I'm not really fit... So going as Superman, and I love Superman, or going as, as Batman or something, I'd look a bit ridiculous because I'm all podgy around the middle and I'd be Fat Man and, and you know, Super Calorie or something. Uh, <laughs> and I, I thought about sort of custom building a big set of Iron Man armor with, you know, just go all out. Because I, I know some costumers who, who do uh, armor work, costume armor work, and they're fantastic at it. But then I thought about taking that in my suitcase through... Um, customs in American airports and I thought you okay, know what I could do without the cavity search today thank you very much sir so perhaps I won't stuff a big uh, plastic costume full of wiring and batteries and electronics and lights and stuff in my suitcase as it goes through American airport security so I need uh, something that, feel, uh, that, that, that feels appropriate for a slightly chubby a man that I won't look completely ridiculous in also, don't want to shave the beard off, so if I go as, you know, if I do go as Batman or something, I'd have the beard sticking out the bottom of the mask, and that look ridiculous, and, you know, I like the beard. The beard gives my face some shape. Without the beard, I look like kind of a potato man, just the head of a potato. Potato man, potato, back scratcher, butt scratcher. So, um, my train of thought is wacky. But, I'm going to Dragon Con. I want to know what you guys think I should get dressed up as. Uh, and I want to know if any of you are planning to go. Because, you know, now's the time to start planning, I guess. Because it's huge.
It's massive. It's the biggest, apparently, and it's in the lost city of Atlanta. Oh, and I'm here to tell you, check out their website and check out the uh, special guests from film, television, comics, and authors and stuff they've got coming this year because it's an astounding list and I'm very, very excited about it. I will, of course, be documenting my journey to and from there in a sort of travel documentary style, maybe something halfway between uh, what I've done for other local conventions here and, and what I did on my recent trip to Brisbane, if you haven't seen that video, sort of a, a, a travel vlog, an experiential vlog, a straight off the top of my head, you know, not prepared anything, I don't want to do, you know, big interviews or anything, I just want to experience the con, as it were, and sort of document my journey to the lost city of Atlanta and back again and to Dragon Con, one of the most legendary conventions in all of geekdom. Dragon Con, 100 days time. Is there anything worth doing at Atlanta while I'm there? What costume should I wear? Are you going to be there? Thanks for watching my astonishing rambling. If you could keep up with my train of thought, if you had a sort of a grappling hook on the end of the train as I hurtle around this train of thought, congratulations, you've stuck with me till the end. Are you confused? I'm confused. I I'm not looking forward to editing this video. There's smoke. Catch you next time. Did I say that already? I think I did.